Well, hey friends, I have two announcements to share with you. The first is my hair. I cut it. <laughs> um, I was just getting really tired of the length of my hair, and I cut it. I just took some scissors and went at it, and this is what we got. So this is day two of my haircut. Um, I've always been a short hair kind of person, and... I haven't had a haircut since last August, so actually it's sort of going on like eight months now. And even then, the gal didn't cut my hair as short as I wanted her to. Um, so anyways, I just let it grow and grow and grow, and finally I was so sick of it that I looked at a couple YouTube tutorials and I said, you know what, I'm just going to cut it myself. Um, you know, we're kind of like in a time where like the purse strings are a little bit tighter. So I could have, you know, scrimped and saved and went and got an actual haircut, but honestly, I just didn't care that much. Um, I have cut lots of people's hair before. I cut my kids' hair. I've cut my own hair several different times, and I just said, I'm not doing anything like super crazy. I am not like, I'm not Vidal Sassoon. I'm not expecting perfection here. I'm just going to cut it. So I did. And there it is. Voila. <laughs> um, and the second thing is, is that I am going to do a VEDA. So if you don't know what VEDA is, it is basically video or vlog every day in April. So yeah, that's a lot. But um, I'm kind of really excited about it. I've been thinking about it for a little while. And I just thought it would be fun. If I don't complete it, that stinks, but I'm really going to push to do it. So um, I've been filming throughout today, which you will see tomorrow. I'm excited. We've got a few things coming up in April that will be kind of fun to film. I'm hosting two different events at my house, and we have um, an appointment for Colt for his speech, and we've, you know, just everyday life. Um, I'll probably throw in a few videos that are more... Um, like organizational projects and things like that. So not every day will be day in the life, but I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I hope it works out. We're going to attempt. So anyways, that is kind of my little bit of news. Well, good morning, friends. I am making breakfast. It is 10 o'clock. Um, it is a pretty late breakfast, but I've spent the morning tidying up Aubrey's room, um, cleaning the living room, and just kind of getting some chores done for the day. So I am making eggs for me and Colt. Colt and I, I guess I should say. Um, I've got some dinner in a crock pot. We have a, we're gonna um, have ham tonight. So this was on a, at a really good price at Walmart. I think it was $18 for a ham. Um, and we froze it, so I'm hoping that, I've just got it on low right now. It's already pre-cooked, but um, I'm thinking it'll be good to go by dinner time. And it is raining outside. And Shane is actually with Aubrey right now. They are at um, a local uh, science center museum thing. And he is supervising a field trip for her class. So that's kind of one of the benefits that he gets um, being home from, you know, his layoff and stuff. So, oh no. Ugh. I cooked these. Oh, this is... I hate burned eggs, Ugh. and that is way too dark for me. Anyways, so I'm going to get these onto a plate for Cookie and I. We don't usually do a, um, a morning snack because the kids get up at 7, and he goes for his nap about 10, 30, 11, and um, so he just kind of picks off my plate when I have my breakfast. So I always make extra for him because if I don't, then he's actually really eating my breakfast. So, so I'm just getting lunch ready. It's about 11 o'clock. I need to get Colt down for his nap. He is way late. But I wanted to throw in some sweet potatoes for lunch. Um, these will probably be for the next two days. Um, I'm also going to make salmon, but that doesn't take that long to cook. Um, I have some frozen salmon. Uh, they're just fillets, and yeah, I think they take about 20 minutes to cook. So that is an email on Trim Healthy Mama. So I need a little bit of energy, which email stands for energizing meal. I've been up since quarter to six this morning. Um, yeah, so I just want to keep that energy up high because I am, you know, feeling like I could crash, but. 
I'm going to get these into the oven. I'm going to go put cold water on my snap, and then I'm going to get a shower. I might highlight my hair. I'm not positive. If I don't do it today, I'm going to do it tomorrow. The day is, like, kind of really moving along, so that will add a significant chunk to my time. So, and Colt is playing with the broom. Are you ready for your nap? Yeah. I didn't think so. But I think you have to go. Are you getting tired? Yeah. I think so. The kids are coming with us tonight to our small group. So it's actually kind of good that he's taking a little bit later of a nap so that he'll sleep longer. And then um, he'll be able to be up later tonight. The kids usually go to bed pretty early. Aubrey's in bed for 7 and Colt is in bed for anytime between 6 and 6.30. So... Um, yeah, we won't get home until like 9 o'clock tonight, so it'll be pretty late. <laughs> but um, we want to um, take him to our small group. The pastor and his wife who lead it have kids that are just a little bit younger than ours, and um, yeah, it'll be fun for them to play. Anyways, I'm going to get this in the oven and put him down. So it's now 1 o'clock. I have finished getting my hair done and my makeup. Um, I am a little late. I'm getting my salmon into the oven, so I'm going to do that right now. Cole is just up from his nap, so I'm going to get the oven preheated, and then I'll have lunch in like half an hour. I'll probably have something else for him because he probably won't eat salmon, but um, it's a good lunch for a mom. If I just been on my game a little bit better, I could be eating in a few minutes, but... Um, but with this hair, like I just, this is my second day with it, and it's my first day actually styling it with my makeup done and stuff, and I'm just trying to get used to it. I like it. Um, yeah. I think it'll work for now. Tonight I am doing a... English cucumber with some grape tomatoes and a little bit of dressing. I've used this Olive Garden Italian dressing. It's so delicious. Um, so I put that on top. And then we are doing the ham and green beans. Um, the kids are going to get apple slices and I think that's probably about it. Um, the ham, I cooked I think a little too long. Uh, not happy with that, but oh well, it's going to be um, thrown into like other meals and in um, scrambled eggs and stuff throughout the week, so um, yeah. My drink, I am doing a Trim Healthy Mama drink. This is called GGM or Good Girl Moonshine. It's an um, apple cider vinegar drink and it's so delicious. It tastes sort of like a juice, but there is apple cider vinegar in there and oh my goodness, apple cider vinegar is so good for you. Um, yeah, it's really delicious. There's like tea and um, some ginger and oh my gosh, it's so good. Well, good morning everybody. It is Friday, April 1st and we are kicking off our day with some breakfast. Aubrey is off at school. She has played some April Fool's jokes all day. I think I have a real prankster on my hands. Oh my goodness, she's a real riot. At five years old, she is. She played numerous little tricks on <laughs> Her whole family this morning and was dreaming of what to do to her teachers so she's a little goose so I've got some fried eggs cooking uh, for Colt and I and Shane has got the dogs out it's a sick sad world today because oh hello dog pink it is a sick sad world today because it is actually snowing and um, you probably can't see it because it's very very faint but you can see that the dog kennel roof has um, snow on top of it and my neighbors roofs have snow so we are just not too happy about that. I have got um, some dishes to do this morning. I was watching our Scentsy Warmer of the Month video. Um, the first of the month is always a big deal when it comes to my business because there's like um, we get to see every month we come out with a new warmer and a new scent and as consultants we get to see that the month prior so um, the month end is always just like a really big big time and so there's lots of new promotions lots of new warmers release lots of new stuff and hi Colty 
So anyways, I'm spending most of my day printing tax receipts um, for my business. I've got to tidy up, like we've got you know, stuff that needs put away. I need to mop the floors and I've got some laundry to do. So that is kind of what's on tap for today. Um, our garbage men did not take our recycling yesterday. So Shane is going to take it to the recycling place today and get that taken care of. I've got to throw in some laundry once he's done with the dogs because they all come into the laundry room, which is right here. You see, I've got my laundry all ready to go, but they go into the laundry room and they're kind of wet and muddy and I don't want them rubbing up against me when they come in the house. So I'm going to wait till they are um, secured. <laughs> so anyways, that is a bit of our morning. Lots of cleaning, lots of um, computer work and lots of excitement. So here's my setup. I'm just at my dining room table. I've got my printer, my laptop, and I've got my diffuser going. Um, this is our Sensi diffuser. I don't have the shade on top of it, so this makes it kind of really portable and easy to just tote around the house. This is all, you know, plastic. So I'm warming an oil called Think because I need to be in a mode to think. And um, I've got my iPad. Hello. Um, my iPad there to watch some YouTube videos. Now, this is ink cartridges. Um, if you, you know, have a printer, which I think most of us do, Costco is an awesome place to get your cartridges refilled with ink. So this is our first time doing it, but for our both cartridges for black and for colored, it cost us $22 to get them completely refilled, where, you know, like ink can cost, you know, sometimes like $50 for for two cartridges. Um, so anyways, if you have a Costco membership, I would really take advantage of this because this is such an awesome, awesome deal. So yeah, so I'm getting ready to print my tax receipts. Colt is still playing Legos and that is what we are up to. So it's Friday night and that means it's pizza night in our house. So I am making um, my journey to never ending joys pizza recipe again. Um, it was so good the last time you made it. So it's pretty much going to be a staple in our house. Um, it's super easy to put together. I'm just waiting for my yeast to finish proofing and then I will mix up the dough and get it going. Um, we're doing Hawaiian pizza again. If you caught my last vlog, like I totally make the same recipe that she does and I totally make it Hawaiian style. I've got pineapple already in the fridge and I've got um, sauce already on hand as well. So both of those things need to be used up, and I made my ham yesterday, so I've got that to use as well. So that is what we are doing for dinner this evening. So while the kids were taking a bath, I chose to clean up the bathroom. I also did a quick little organizing project here in our vanity. Um, our bathroom is so small, so this is about as far away as I can get from the vanity. So I'm just going to show you um, what I did. I have this little hook hanging on here because our bathroom is super duper tiny. Um, I'll just kind of show you. This is one wall. This is the vanity. And this is the other wall. So yeah, it's pretty tiny. Um, now, anyways, I don't really have a spot to hang my hand towels, so I've just put this hook over the door, and I'll just show you inside. So, this prior to organizing was kind of just a mess, just everything tossed in there, um, no real rhyme or reason. 
So what I did was this little um, blue case, it's a shoebox organizer. That holds like a lot of um, extra toiletries, mostly Shane's things. And um, he doesn't really access them very often. In fact, I'm going to have him actually go through that box and see if there's anything he needs to get rid of. But that was in there previously. So what I did was I put this metal shelf on top. And so this can easily slide out if he needs to get in there. And I stuck the uh, leg of the shelf right behind this little metal thing so that this isn't moving around. Um, that just lets it come in and out easily. And then on top I put, well, let me go up here first. So this is Shane's um, toiletry case. He does a lot of traveling, especially with his dogs, and I actually um, got him this toiletry case from 31 for Christmas. It's really big and very roomy and was a lot bigger than his um, previous toiletries case. So he keeps just a lot of his stuff right in there um, for like shaving and, you know, manly stuff. So uh, we just keep that on there because he accesses that on a regular basis. And then... <clears throat> And then underneath I have two of these containers from Target. Um, the one in the back has my nail polishes. I recently downsized a lot of my nail polish because honestly, I am just not <laughs> painting my nails very much. It's a luxury that I just don't really have a whole lot of time for. So I put everything into one of these containers. Now two of these equals the size of a shoebox container, so that will kind of just give you a little size reference. So all of my nail things are in there. Files, buffers, nail polish. Um, I have some Jamberry nail strips. Those are in there as well. The only thing that isn't is my nail polish remover. That is actually longer than the case itself, so I'm going to move that into our linen closet. Uh, we have some storage in there, and I will just stick it inside of um, a bin in there, and when I need it, that's where I will get it from. And then this one in the front, I just stuck three Scentsy bars. I've got um, my plug-in warmer up here, and um, the bars had previously been in this drawer, but this drawer was getting quite full. So I just stuck them in there, and there was room on the side for something else. I didn't really have anything else, and honestly, I didn't even really need to put the Scentsy bars in there, but I didn't know what else to put, so for now, that's just where they're at. Behind the shelf, which you can't see, really, is a bottle of Comet and um, our toilet brush head cleaner things. So I use the um, disposable toilet brush wand from Scrubbing Bubbles. Uh, it has like a clamp on it and then you just swish out your toilet with that and then you flush the, the toilet thing so you don't have a toilet brush like hanging around. So I have all of that behind these containers so that the kids can't get into them. Aubrey wouldn't anyways. Um, and we keep our bathroom door closed anyways during the day so that Colt can't get in here, but just in the off chance, they really are kind of back behind everything and neither one of them can can get into it all that easily. So then here in front, I just have the cleaners that we use. So I use um, either Lysol, Clorox, or the Great Value brand disinfecting wipes, and I basically use those for um, the toilet. And then I have my uh, Scentsy Counter Clean, and this is in coconut lemongrass, and I use this to clean uh, my counters, to clean the outside of the toilet sometimes, and I also use that to clean my um, towel, uh, not towel, tile surround. Um, let's see if I can show you. Um, this is a little glimpse into the the shower, and the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling, and so I actually use this on the tile because it makes it sparkle like nothing else. I, um, as you can see, I have the Scrubbing Bubbles brand that I'm getting rid of. Or that's not Scrubbing Bubbles. It's what is it? Scrub Free something Arm and Hammer. I don't know. Um, I'm getting rid of it. It smells like bleach and I hate it. And it doesn't do nearly as good of a job as this counter clean. So, um, yeah. And then behind, I just have a roll of paper towels, and I use the paper towels again just to, um, with my counter clean to get things tidy. So that was my quick little organizing project that I did while the kids are bathing, and yeah. So I have a quick little sticker haul that I'm going to show you, and then I think I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Um, I'm going to grab a shower myself, probably 
actually clean out uh, the tub because it needs done. And I'm already scrubby grubby, so I'm going to do that. And then I might do a face mask too. And then, yeah, and then I think I'm just going to relax for the night. I have some laundry to fold. I might paint my nails. I don't know. But that's kind of what it's looking like. So I'll show you the stickers that I got in the mail today. And then I'm going to call it a night. So here is my circle haul. This is from Study The Study la, la, la. So this is from The Study Holic. She is located here in Canada. And this is my first order from her. And I will definitely be ordering again. This is actually a handwritten thank you note from her. And on the back is a uh, coupon code. But I think this is just absolutely beautiful. I would actually love to frame this. I might and put it in my office. It's just so super duper pretty. But that handwritten thank you note is just that extra touch that I think is so special. So I love that. So that was the thank you. And then she included this little sampler set. Yeah, the study holic. And I thought this was really sweet too. I love when shops include a um, sampler. And then, so the stickers that I ordered were Friday and Sunday Fun Day. <laughs> um, so the really awesome thing about her shop is that you can customize the colors for your stickers. So for Friday, I could have picked, like this is the rainbow print. There was a pastel rainbow print. There was um, a whole bunch of different colorways that she already had set up. And I just love that you could customize um, she has lots and lots of lots of lots of different stickers. Um, you can just pick the colorway that totally works for you and um, get them customized that way. So I thought that was so awesome. And she, again, she's located here in Canada, and her shipping was very, 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 very cheap. Uh, so if you're in Canada, definitely check her out. Oh, I mean, if you're in the States, too, her ch shipping probably won't be uh, that expensive for you guys, I'm guessing. If you aren't familiar, the Canadian dollar is really stinky right now. It's kind of like, I don't know, 70 some cents compared to the U.S. dollar. And a lot of the sticker shops in the States have just higher priced shipping, um, anywhere from like 12 to $16. So unless you're getting stickers that really, really on sale, you're paying through the nose for stickers. So um, I love to support different, you know, handmade shops. But it's nice when I can find them here in Canada with quality stickers with a good shipping price. So that is the Steady Holic. So next I got some stickers from Stickerific. So I've ordered from Stickerific before and I really loved the quality of her stickers. It's just really, really nice. Just stand out printing. Just wonderful. Um, and she does a lot of coupon codes too. So make sure to follow her on um, Instagram. I think I got these stickers for 50% off. It was either 55 or 50 but yeah, like crazy, crazy price. So, and again, her shipping um, to Canada is not that much either, and my sister in the States ordered, and I think her shipping was either 75 cents or 90 cents, so really, really cheap. So this is the March sampler that she included with her orders. Um, I love that this sticker is a change air filter sticker. Like, oh my gosh, I always forget um, that we need to do that until we're all sneezing. And then it's like, oh yeah, we need to change the air filter. So that's so perfect. So then I picked up some crock pots. And these weather weather icons. I have a lot of her weather icons already and I'm using them in my planner, but I bought them individually. So I have a whole sheet of suns, a whole sheet of partially cloudies and cloudies, um, but I thought I would get this one too because they're just really cute and I need to track my weather. And then I got these emojis. Uh, her washing machines. I love her washing machines. I actually have one of the purple ones in my planner this week. Um, I love the color too. And then they're a nice substantial size, which is kind of nice. I like that. And then are these barbecue stickers. 
And the hot dog and hamburger ones will be ones that we could use now, which is kind of fun. But uh, Shane built us a fire pit last summer, so these will be fun to use when we plan fire nights. And then I have her weekend bunting, um, her weekend bunting flags. Um, I have her pastel ones, but this I think is a bright set. I think, I don't know, I look at so many sticker shops. <laughs> um, but she has lots of different weekend banners. I really, really love these ones. And then some lawn mowers. And some cleaning things. I love the little duster. I think it's so cute. And I should be doing this tonight. But... Unless I get some energy, that's not happening. I do not like to iron. And then some grass. So these will be good to pair with the lawnmower to denote when we need to mow our grass, which is practically every other day in the summer, it feels like. So that is my sticker haul for Stickerific and the Steady Holic. I think I have one or two more orders still coming for some really, really, really good sales um, over Easter weekend. So I just picked up a few. Um, yeah, so, I love planner stickers. So anyways, that is about it for this day in the life. I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.